Hi friends, my name is Arden, welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing something that I've been planning for a while. Let me just sit down because I'm a little bit breathless. Behind me you can see a package. I received a package from Ireland from my sister. In a lot of my previous videos I went on and on about how she keeps buying books in Ireland and expects to bring them home but we don't have the space. So she sent me her package today and I'm so excited to finally open it and see what's inside. She did tell me which books she bought when she was buying them, but I don't know which books she sent. Apart from her Ireland book haul, we are also doing the book haul that I did over the past few months. Today is Lucifer's big day. She is having her surgery. The reason why this is related to our book haul today, it's just a little bit of a story time. Um, we were coming home and this guy who was supposed to drop our package off called me and said that he was on his way and I told him that we were three minutes away to wait for us and he did and we got our package, which is so exciting! Thanks. Very gracious. She's such a lady. I'm probably gonna do this on my... on here, but I always, always have problem with lighting. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know I always have a problem with lighting here. Let's do it. Ow. This is gonna hurt, I know. I can already tell. All I want is nothing more. Ooh. Hear you knocking at my door with a package. I could die a happy girl, I'm sure. When you said finally your last hellos. Here it is. We've got a load of bubble wrap. Oh. Okay, let's see what it is, because it's not just books. We've got, oh my gosh, <laughs> who heard and chill, <laughs> we've got socks, <laughs> we've got a lollipop, oh my goodness sis, holy crap, there's so much, we've got socks again, we've got this Bluetooth speaker, oh, this uh, soap that she absolutely adores. She says it smells like chewing gum and let me just check cuz Wait, how do I I don't want to open it. I don't want to do anything to it. Oh My gosh, it smells like chewing gum <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bubble gum. It smells like bubble gum. Arden chill. See, this is what I'm talking about. When I get excited, I get so annoying. My voice turns into something that is straight from hell. So she sent us these little things, these little mugs. Wow, I'm in love. I'm so happy. This is for, um, don't open. This is for grandma. I love you and I miss you all. Oh, this is so lovely. Okay, I can't open it. Now let's go for books because the entire bottom is filled with books and s with something else. Wait, true wireless stereo. Oh, earphones or I mean earbuds or AirPods or whatever they're called. Holy moly. <laughs> Pardon, chill. Okay, let's see. First we have... The Truth About Keeping Secrets by Savannah Brown. Exciting. Okay. We have The Light Years by Cass Morgan. I believe this is from The 100. We have E. Lockhart. Genuine Fraud. I don't know if I'm mentally stable for another E. Lockhart book. <laughs> Tess Garrett's in Gravity, which I also unhauled the Slovenian version in one of my other videos where I unhauled 121 plus books. For a good reason, because we have so many books here. I don't know if I'll be able to keep all of them. <laughs> then we have The Words That Fly Between Us, which I already read. I have my own copy that my sister gave me, but she bought this in Ireland and she also has it signed. Uh, I, I have the other one signed as well because she found it somewhere signed. Then we have Cersei. Oh my gosh, I don't... There's so many books here that I wanted to buy because I forgot that she has them and now I don't have to. 
We have The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. We have The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. I believe this is the second book. We have Ten Tiny Breasts by K.A. Tucker. Oh my goodness, this book has such a gorgeous cover. I really, well, I want to read it now. Gloves Off by Louisa Reed. Oh, it's also signed. Okay, I should probably start looking at signed books more. And it's written in verse. Interesting, because I haven't known books were written in verse until I saw Clap When You Land. And I only noticed it was written in verse, I believe, just this or last week. The next one is The Lost Princess by Connie Glynn. We have Summoner the Outcast. And this is also signed because Anya met the author. And she also sent me my own copy of the first book, which is so exciting. Oh, Resist by Sarah Crossan. We also have, I believe, if she was kind enough to send us the first book. Is this the first book? It's Breathe. And I've just noticed going through my Goodreads shelves that I've had these books on my Goodreads shelves basically since the books came out. So I'm really excited to finally get the chance to read them. Thank you, sis, for sending these. And I hope you don't mind that I'm going to read them. Next is Meat Market by Juno Dawson. I also saw this book in one of our local bookstores. And I pointed it out to my friend and said, oh, my sister has this book. And she said that it's incredible that I should read it. And it's also signed, which is great. I believe Resist and Breeze are also signed. Yeah, they are. My sister met the authors at one of the conventions in Ireland. So that's great. Then we have Summoner the Battle Mage, which is the third book. We have Summoner the Inquisition, which is the second book. We have Summoner the Novice, which is the first book, which I also have that she sent me my own copy, signed copy. Okay, we have more, you guys, more. We have The Choice by Edith Egger. There is Princess in Practice by Connie Glynn. Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn. Adam Silvera, Infinity Sun, which I've heard a lot of bad things about. <laughs> we have The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. We Come Apart by Sarah Crossan and Brian Con Conahan, if I'm pronouncing his name, his last name right. We have Heart Stream by Tom Pollock. Apple and Rain by Sarah Crossan. My sister is a big Sarah Crossan fan, I'm just noticing. <laughs> the Way to Water by Sarah Crossan. We have uh, this Queen of Coin and Whispers sample that she also gave me. Two Can Keep a Secret with the paint, spray painted edges. That's so exciting. The Places I've Cried in Public by Holly Bourne. Soulmates by Holly Bourne. The cover is so pretty. Nerve by Jean Ryan. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Supernova by Cass Morgan. And we also have Playing with Fire by Tess Gerritsen. Tess Gerritsen is also the author that we've unhauled Slovenian versions of. And the last book series she sent me. Excuse the lighting because it's shifting a little bit. This book series is one that I bought in Ireland. I sent her the money, told her to buy me these books because I only got them for 20 euros, the entire book series. 20 euros, you guys. Usually one book is like 20 euros or 12, depending on if you get them in hardcover or paperback. But I would have to spend so much money buying these separately, it didn't make any sense. It's gone, the entire series. Listen, even if I don't like the series, look at the covers. Look at the spines. This is gonna fit perfectly on my bookshelf. I'm sorry about the glare, but holy crap. Sis, you've outdone yourself. I know you only buy these books for yourself, but it's so nice to finally have a fresh look to our bookshelves because we have so many old books that I just got really bored of them and bored of looking at them. So I'm so happy 
that we are getting new books, that we made space to get new books. Because otherwise, I don't know where I would put these books. But yeah, I'm so excited for all of these. And that you bought books that I wanted to read. Don't have to buy them now. Because you know what? I hope that you never get married. <laughs> that you never have a family of your own. And that we live together for the rest of our lives. Because I want all of your books. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you. But um, yeah, thank you for... for fueling my love of books and for sending this package even though I know you only sent it because you don't want to have too many books on your bookshelf and you don't have enough space so um yeah thank you again <laughs> I'm really happy if you can't tell I'm just like radi radiating happiness anyway this is it for this Ireland's haul. Now moving on to part two, which is my book haul. For my part of the book haul, I am very lucky that the last book I needed to wait for just arrived yesterday. So we have all of the books here now. And I'm also going to be going a few months back to the books that I have already mentioned in my videos, my previous vlogs, because I haven't really talked about them in my hauls. So we're just gonna talk about all of them today. The first book that I've talked about in one of my vlogs is Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the third book in the Witchlands series. Blood Witch arrived right when it was published, so in May, and I haven't done a book haul since then, so that's why it's in here. Another book that I have ordered a little bit later, this is a Wattpad published book, Confessions About Colton by Olivia Harvard. I heard a lot of good things about this book. I heard that it really keeps you at the edge of your seat and that you can't stop thinking about it. So I have to read it. I don't know when I'm gonna, but I really, really do have to read it and I'm so excited about it. But you know how it goes, like I have so many books, I don't have enough time. Another book that I've talked about in one of my vlogs a few months ago, was clickbait and clickbait this is in hardcover i was so excited to get it it looks very beautiful on my bookshelf i still haven't read it yet don't know why i just keep procrastinating and doing these challenges but i've also been in a, a little bit of a book slump so arden get your shit together which i say in every video moving on we have given by nandy taylor which is also a wattpad book yes i've been buying wattpad books because i want to support wattpad writers i believe Nandy Taylor is also a black woman and our main character is black and this cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love it, but I heard that it's getting a new cover, which is also exciting. I really want to read this book. I saw it everywhere on Wattpad and I just, I want to want to get my, I'm lucky to get my hands on it. It was also a Wattie Award winner, which is so exciting. I'm super happy. I'm not the best at talking about the books that I bought because I never know what they're about. I just buy them because I hear good things and then I immediately want to buy them, but I never want to spoil myself what they're about, you know, so I'm sorry if I'm not going into detail. Next we have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. I've already done a video doing this makeup and messed it up on the first try because instead of yellow I did a purple eye for no reason because apparently I'm... Um, no, I'm not colorblind. That's insensitive to say. But um, Clap When You Land, it has been raved about on Booktube. And only recently, like I said, I've found out that it's written in verse. It's written in verse, you guys. I want to read this now. I want to read it so bad. Next one is A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. <sighs> when I tell you I was so excited about this book... I love mermaid books. I haven't read that many in the past recent years, but I want to read more. I want to dive back into mermaid stories and to see black women as mermaids. You guys, when I was doing my mermaid recommendations videos on Kindle, on Wattpad, and on um, and published books, <sighs> there were so many white people. I think this is the only cover that I saw with Black Mermaids. I'm so happy that I have a hardcover and it's so beautiful and... <sighs> yeah, I should move on. <laughs> Next we have You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. Let me tell you, 
booktube again has been raving about this book and i still have yet to read it i have yet to read so many other books but i really really want to get to it i say this about every book i have them on my bookshelf for years but then i buy new books I am going officially on a book buying ban from now on. Please hold me accountable because I need to read books on my TBR and books on my bookshelves. This is insane. Then if ordering books online wasn't enough, I also went to a bookstore and spent a little bit more money there, money that I didn't have. So let's talk about these books. The first one is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. If you know me, you know that I've been obsessed with this book and this movie ever since it came out and I want to read the rest of the series or the trilogy is it a trilogy I want to read China Rich Girlfriend and I also want to reread this book this was a five-star read this was one of the best books I've read in 2019 if not the best book in 2019 I loved it so much I love the author I love how much attention he paid to the details I was like oh my gosh this is great writing I just want more and I love the world I really really do oh, I'm so happy so I finally got myself a copy and it was also a little bit on sale so it wasn't full price which we love another book that wasn't full price that was on sale was The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang now, I don't go to the local bookstore that often, but when I see books that BookTube talks about a lot, I need to I need to buy them. So, The Poppy War, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard people say, this is one of the best fantasy books I've read. And I really want to get into it. I want to read it. Another big fantasy book is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Listen, it doesn't say what it's about on the back, so I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> I just know that I bought this giant book because everybody says this book is giant and that they spent so much time reading it. <laughs> so I want to do the same. I want to get myself to do the same. And apparently it has a lot of world building, which if you love world building is a great thing, but if you are relying a little bit more on other things it might not be some people say it is their absolute favorite some people say they hated it so I'm a little bit worried not gonna lie I'm a little bit worried now the next book that I bought and the last book that I bought impulsively in a bookstore is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas Arden finally got her copy you guys Crescent City. Actually, it's House of Blood. No, House of Earth and Blood. It's a big book. Not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared, intimidated. I want to annotate it. I want my own... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. But I want to do a review upon it and talk about it. Don't want to be too analytical because when I get analytical, I get really too much in your face about everything. So I just want to read it for my enjoyment and possibly cry because I know this book can make you cry. And the last book that I got yesterday through mail. It, is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Look at the cover. I waited extra long just to get this. I think this is UK cover. It is absolutely stunning. Let me... It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this type of design. If there was a cover that summed up what I loved on covers, it's this design. It's graphic design. It's not artistic, um, you know, just sketchy type of thing. It's this. I have so many beautiful books. And for someone who is really shallow and chooses the next books to read by mostly by cover. This is such a big problem because I am stressing myself out because I don't know which books to read next. Hmm. Let me know if I should do a poll on Twitter and Instagram if you guys would vote on one book a month that I should read.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. There's so many new books. Arden's living in heaven right now. I really am thriving. Just living my best life. And compared to June and July, this month is going pretty great so far. I love August. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these books. Click the notification bell to give yourself notified when I post more videos because I post pretty often. And share my YouTube channel if you want to because it would mean a lot. But also, follow me on social medias. I'm a booktuber, I'm a bookstagrammer, and I'm a not a blogger. I'm a Wattpad writer, so check me out on Wattpad. I always forget to say that. Arden. Ow. <laughs> Bye, guys.